whenever you're ready. When you tell me to be quiet, I stop breathing. <laughs> I don't think it picks that up. <laughs> so we're recording. Everything's good. Okay. Yep. All set. All right. You are totally the biggest mark. And I have had the brain to do you. Hulk Hogan, you can go to hell. And all these people are a bunch of stinking bums, aren't you? The reigning United States heavyweight champion, Brett Hitman Clark. Hello out there. Once again, we are here. This is the Late to the Nitro Party podcast. And today we are going to be watching WCW Monday Nitro episode 56 from the Savannah Civic Center in Savannah, Georgia, uh, with an attendance of 4,300 people, a Nielsen rating of a 3.5. This show took place on October the 7th of 1996. If you don't know the deal by now, make sure you pull this episode up on the WWE Network. Let the ads do their thing. Let the parental warnings do their thing. When it comes up the to the intro of Nitro, hit pause so you're ready to go. And press play when I tell you. So, in three, two, one, play. And I'm here too. And Zach's here. Grant will be here shortly. Here in about ten minutes or so, hopefully. We, we are a disjointed clusterfuck of idiots. So, deal with it. Enjoy. So, where are we at? What happened last week? Okay, so last week, if you don't remember, the NWO did a bunch of promos from a hotel room. Um, that was pretty much it. There was a bunch of kind of average wrestling matches with some random people. And uh, Randy Savage came running around the Marty corner McFly like... Marty McFly style. Yeah, came running around the corner like <laughs> Marty McFly at the very end. It was probably the most entertaining thing on the episode. Yeah, that was the best part so, of the show. In Sav- Savannah, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia. We got somebody in the ring already. You ever been to Savannah, Georgia? No, it's I don't nice believe place. so. I've been through Atlanta. That's about. That's totally different yeah, than Savannah. Yeah. Savannah's pretty cool. Savannah has all the uh, porches, right? Like the deals with the moss hanging off of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah a lot of like. Yeah, that is a, I want that Miller Lite t-shirt that that guy has on. That is bitching. Oh, we're still worried about Miss Elizabeth. Well, goddamn, Savage verbally abused the hell out of her at the end of the last Well, she episode. shouldn't have been in the NWO's goddamn hotel room. <laughs> Shit. This is definitely the least colorful shirt I've seen uh, seen Zabisco, Zabisco wear yeah, so far, I think. Stripes. Just very conservative tonight. Yeah. Here, here we go. Here we go. This is awesome. Ha, 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 ha. It worked. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I love how he's in a hotel room in full wrestling gear. Is that why he didn't show up to his interview? In the he last probably episode? heard that she was on her way and yeah. bailed on his interview. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God. Remember when he full on shoots slaps Tori Wilson? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. that's like 99, 2000. Right. He get a little carried away occasionally. That's all for the show. Much fewer college kids in the crowd than last week because we aren't on a university campus. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> There's a very entertaining fan. Hey, more uh, Saturday night. Right. Uh, you get a lot of promotion. Remember his dance. knees injured from uh, the Faces of Fear last week. Did he have his cane wrapped in his shoelace? Is that what he was doing? No, nah, he was just pulling on his leg or oh, some I see such on nonsense. The oh, he hit it right on the mat. Oh my god. Oh, they won the titles back on Saturday night. There we go. So that is the end. Man, I hope they don't have like two runs that the I didn't know about. The illustrious reign of Public Enemy. So that's it. We had a title change on WCW Saturday night. I'm glad they showed that to us. 
I cannot wait for Saturday night to get on the network. It's going to happen eventually, <clears throat> you like, would think. Like, 91 through 95, like, was just amazing from... I mean, I've barely seen them, but you can get yeah, VHS I mean, quality stuff on YouTube, but... There's a lot of good stuff in there. Why isn't his knee wrapped like it was yeah. two days ago Come on, on Saturday man. night? Continuity. For God's sakes. Oh, but it's not for the title. It's yeah. a non-title grudge match because the public enemy are idiots and don't know how to review contracts before signing them. That makes no damn sense. What about their rematch clause? We always hear about that. There's always a damn rematch clause. Dumb. So, it's a non-title grudge match, so are the rules different? Is it like no DQ then? Is that what that means? Non-title grudge because match? Not just means it's a grudge match. <sighs> so, it's like any other match. I think so. <laughs> so... Public Enemy, that, that's why they always wrestle the Nasty Boys, because all they do is walk and brawl. They don't, they don't have, they don't have the chops in the ring to actually put on a long enough match. However, once I see how long this match gets, it makes me. Ladies want, and gentlemen, this is the second longest match by only fifteen seconds. Like that, why do they get so much friggin' time? Cut the match in half and put another match on the card with, like, I don't know, Rey Mysterio or something. Mm -hmm. Those belts look very cheap. They probably are at this point. I mean, they... they. So usually, non-title matches means the, um, challengers, the challengers are, win, are going to win. But we'll not see. always the case. We'll see. Can't drop spoilers. Get you some. Jesus. This thing is still happening. Was Sherry married to someone in real life, or I think I I, I don't know. I, I mean, mean, maybe I'm about to say anyone like a wrestler of some sort. Or no, something. I mean I don't think, but I don't know. Can't remember. Really don't. This angle with Colonel Robert Parker and Sherry and all this nonsense. I can't believe it's still going has on. Has been going on since the, beginning of, the beginning of our show. Over a year. You know who we haven't seen in a long time, and I'm guessing they're in uh, Japan, is Medusa. Oh, yeah. We have not we seen... We haven't seen a women's match. No. Remember that whole time. women's division thing? Yeah, it yeah. doesn't happen. Right. There's like no women's matches ever. It's like Bischoff hired her basically because just, of the title. Just to do that one spot. Alright, Booker, I hope uh, hope you uh, plan on carrying three people, because that's what's going to happen. Actually carrying, well, the second most talented person in this match is Sherry. Right. Like, yeah. Sherry's good, but... She, oh, whoop, man. Zerp, oh, man. Zerp. <laughs> just about got up too soon. Is that uh, Starmaker Boland? I can't see your legs. Oh, get out of the way. Every time I see somebody interesting in the crowd, looks... this this guy. <laughs> they won't show him. They're standing right in front. The heavy set man in the yeah. blue shirt. In the blue shirt. I don't know. I think that's that. Star that's Star it Maker Bowling. Like it. it does look like it. I think it? is he from Savannah? <laughs> He's gotta be from the South somewhere. Probably from Kentucky. But that looks like Kenny Boland. Well, tweet him. Was Smoky Mountain Wrestling was already out of business at this time, wasn't it? No, they were in business in 96. Really? Yeah. I thought they... Well... That whole NWA angle happened in 96. But that wasn't Smoky Mountain Wrestling. Yeah, it was. It was Smoky Mountain guys coming in oh, to the WWF. Okay. Look that up. Look up when Smoky Mountain Wrestling folded. Oh, Rocco Rock. Oh, get... Oh, you're gonna get them titties out. Look out. You can't do that, Rocco. Did he like, oh, whoop, is it? Hey. Oh, man. Did he actually cup? No. Man. Rocco Rock called the spot to Sherry right in front of the camera. Uh, He's laying down on the apron, and he says something to her, and then he gets up and grabs her. Mm -hmm. Just called the spot right in front of the main camera. Amateur move. Are we going to get another Jim Duggan? Nope, we got Savage this week. Ooh, you can uh, buy a Macho Man t-shirt and bandana. You're right. They had folded in 95. So I they thought, were already done. I thought that NWA thing was 96. Dude, you can buy a fringed out Macho Man t-shirt 
and a bandana for 25 bucks. You can't buy a freaking armband for 25 bucks. Oh, we got more show. Liz drama. She, she shouldn't talk. Just get away from the The door guy. is not being closed by anything. Just walk in. Is Glacier in there? Why is it no blue? <laughs> You're just in there free basin. Damn. We're getting some chesticles on this show already. It's better and better. Until she doesn't. Sherry about got them things out. Still got his neck brace on. Hello, hello. Uh, he's here. <laughs> There's Grant. How we doing? Hello? We'll let him get settled for a bit. <laughs> yeah, Grant, if you can hear us, it's... We're in the middle of a public enemy match, so take your time. Yeah, got nothing from Grant. Who knows? He's probably doing something. Nice sidekick. He's finished, he says. Grant? Yeah, Grant, if you can hear us, we, we can't we hear cannot you. We cannot hear you. Hear you. We heard you. Oh, yeah, you're calling somebody else? What's going on? Hello? Now we hear vehicles? <laughs> there, is he on the highway? There is a hurricane... Damn, good work and punch from Sherry. Good work. How about now? Hey, perfect. there we go. Everything okay over there? Yeah, it's fine. All right. Okay, everything else perfect Grant, now. we are Where's at me? 10 minutes and... Which, do you have the episode pulled up first? No, I have no fucking idea. Okay, <laughs> it's episode 56 from Ooh, October 7th. Fr from October 7th of 96. We are in October. Yeah, give it a second. We got a non-title tag match with uh, Harlem Heats and Public Enemy. So the good news is, is that Public Enemy isn't the champs anymore because they dropped them back to Harlem Heat on Saturday night, and we got to see it. Get a lot of Saturday night uh, promos, recaps. It's because Saturday night's awesome. Yes, it is. Nick Patrick is working his neck brace gimmick because Savage punched him out a couple weeks ago. Oh, boy. Public enemy. It just grinds our show to a halt. And it grinds this show to a halt. Alright. Grant, we're gonna have you go to, uh... Just go to, uh, 12 minutes and wait for us. And pause it, and we'll tell you when to press play. We'll sync up. So you got 30 seconds to get that done. <laughs> kick his ass like Harlem Heat's supposed to be the heels but they're getting cheered here yeah are you there yeah I'm here I'm trying to adjust volume because you guys are fucking loud okay really. so Grant you ready to press play sure three two one play and what do you see Grant the NW I don't know. yeah NWO's in the house Really, really whitewashed it's camera here. Smoky in there. I think that's sm that like smoke. Sure, there was some smoke. pyro earlier that because yeah. that's up high. Yeah, fans are losing their minds. Yeah, hell yeah, they are. Hey, here we go. That isn't the word I'd use <laughs> to insult Harlem Probably. Heat. I mean, they're. No. That's wrong. Well, there's a lot of alternatives that could have been a lot worse. Yeah, I know, but that's just the wrong. You got to know your demographic. <laughs> so, Grant, how was work today? Did you uh, cut a promo on anybody? I did. It's good. How'd that go? What uh, What kind of promo did you did you cut? Someone told me they liked someone because they call they liked that guy. He's the type of guy that calls a spade a spade. Uh -huh. And with zero thought, this is how my brain works, is warped by professional wrestling. <laughs> I stand up and I go, 
Oh, yeah, it takes a lot of courage to call a spade a spade. Let me tell you something. Me and my grandma used to play a lot of rummy when I was a little kid. And when I was seven and she was 60, she never had any problem throwing down a card and saying, oh, that's a two of spades. She never called it a, a diamond. She never called it a heart. And if an old woman can call a spade a spade, maybe this guy isn't so fucking brave. Maybe we need someone who calls a motherfucker a motherfucker, not someone who knows the differences between, between the four suites in a fucking card game. Please tell and me you just I... dropped your headset and then it jumped out a window. <laughs> he just <laughs> threw a microphone down on the ground, just pipe sort bombed of, it. It's sort of shit that comes out of my mouth at work. And then so I just was, sit down and go back to it. Was this a fellow employee, I take it? Yeah. Are also, you... Zach, I'll, I'll, I want you to look into something. Okay. I don't have the Raw report ready, but when I watch Raw and they do a split screen, it takes up the whole fucking thing. So they figured it out. So they, they do it yeah. right. Yeah, it takes up like 90% of the screen, and that's why fucking Nitro lost the ratings. Right yeah, now. it really that's is. Great. It really is. Little things like that. They and they, they, Rocco Rock has been bellowing out spots this entire match in, in yeah. full view of the camera. <laughs> like, that's the second one. You missed it earlier. He grabbed Sherry, and, and her chest almost popped out. And, right. uh, and he called the spot to her right in front of the camera. Like, ah, the fuck. camera was four feet away from him. He's like, I'm going to grab you. For God's he's, sake. I'm going to grab your titties. <laughs> he's lucky she didn't waffle him. Oh, she she did later. She threw a nice forearm shiver. Second best worker in the match after Booker T. Yeah. It's friggin' Sherry. She is glistening. <laughs> She's got some, She's got got some, some oil in that hair. Yeah. She's got some product on. This match gets ten and a half minutes, Grant, so be be happy you called in a little late. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, this is the only thing that's happened. You yeah, missed yeah you have not. You have missed very little. The NWO should... Damn, get on. Damn. Ride that rope, Harry. Ride that. <laughs> oh, shit. You go through the table, and they missed the shot. Oh, God. He, I, I, it sounded that like... That cameraman a, got fired this night. Show him. Oh, we... Oh, he's fine. He's calling out spots. <laughs> no one's around. He's calling out spots. <laughs> like, they missed the shot of the guy going through the table. What the hell? Wow. That's where Shivani loses his yeah, mind on yeah. his podcast. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, that's why we sucked right there. Yep. We got, we got a little tag finisher here. Harlem Hangover, maybe. It's got to be the Hangover. Oh, she is. She's getting her some of Nick Patrick yeah. over there. Oh, oh, chair. On the, no. Oh, oh. Just man. a leg drop on the chair. Knee drop on the chair. Nick, man, we're still doing the Nick Patrick as a incompetent boob. <laughs> um, no pun yep. intended. He's walking around in a ambulance chaser neck brace. Ugh. Booker's I mean, like, Jesus Christ, I'm not supposed to be working that hard. I gotta carry three of these <laughs> motherfuckers. No joke. I'm excited for the uh, Colonel Parker fucking thing to be over. Yeah, I don't know when it... For all I know, it carries on into like 2000 and I just forgot about it. <laughs> they're only yeah. on like WCW, like worldwide. They're still doing it. They're still it, doing though. it like yeah. in 2001. Oh, we got a limousine. Is that a Lincoln Continental? Oh, that's an old Lincoln or something. Oh, oh right. my sweet Jesus, who's that? Ah, fuck. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett is here. God he is, he is wearing it. white denim. White jeans <laughs> and a leather jacket. White he's denim here, and he, a leather jacket. He's here to ruin the whole thing, and if he doesn't get the job done, rest assured he'll come back in a few fucking oh, years. Oh, yeah. Well, I hate him. I, there's, nothing Jeff Jarrett, there's nothing Jeff Jarrett ever did that I liked. So, Grant, last week you weren't with us, and the... Uh, the show was at the uh, Cleveland State, uh, like basketball arena. So it was at a college. Sure. Pretty young, pretty young crowd. This show is at the Savannah Civic Center in Savannah, Georgia, and uh -huh. whoa, um, hillbillies everywhere. Star Maker Bowling. Yeah, I swear to God, Kenny Bowling's <laughs> in the front row. I'm not joking. He might have been. It very well could be. Nick Patrick cuts maybe the third best promo in the entire company. It's yeah, it's good. I like Shivani's facial expressions better than Snake. He looks like he smelled a fart. <laughs> yeah, Tony uh, kind of got rid of the mullet. I mean, it's it's not it's, really a mullet it's, anymore. It's 
It's a baby mullet. It's just a helmet. <laughs> he, well, that's what I was going to say. He trimmed it into that thing that, like, progressive women had at this time period. Yeah, yeah. Just sort of, I don't know what you call it. The butch. Like the, in, the butch. It, v- it's the, vegan it's, butch. It's the don't sexually harass me at work haircut. Yeah, that's a big deal nowadays. Don't be out there grabbing ass because you'll get in trouble. Apparently, Matt Lauer, I'm allowed, talking to you. Apparently, we're not allowed to do that anymore. Yeah. So you saying the word butch reminded me of in Ghostbusters 2 and they're like Vigo the Magnificent, Vigo the Terrible, Vigo and then Bill Murray, Vigo the Butch. (laughs) I don't know why that cracked me up. Uh, Sounds like we got some DDP coming and uh, you'll have to go back and listen to the episode Grant but last week we uh, we talked about Randy Savage doing his best Marty McFly impersonation. Oh, yeah, that's great. Um, it's at the it. very end of the show. Like the last thirty seconds. The show, uh, the show itself, uh, the Nitro was pretty disjointed because people are still in Japan. So oh, there's right. a lot of mid carters. I remember watching that episode a few months back, and it's kind of an odd episode. Yeah. You get the problem is is that the mid carters that I like, and as we watch this, and as I move forward. There really was a period of time where I was a bigger fan of the mid carters than the main guys. Right, um, me too. But uh, most of the most of the mid carters that I like, or, or several of them, go to Japan because within the last ten years they'd all worked there, so they were popular there. So, why is Jim Powers coming out second? <laughs> Fuck. Oh man. To make you think that he's going to win. Who did he wrestle last week? It was somebody Jim who Powers. Yeah, who did Jim Powers wrestle? Was it? it was Eddie Guerrero, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Eddie just did his, bless his heart, did his damnedest to carry him to a decent match, but it still wasn't very good. When I was going to say, I don't know who he wrestled, but whoever he wrestled, wrestled a turd. I yeah. know that. Yeah. I have a feeling old JP's going to eat a diamond cutter. I don't know. I'd say that's a safe bet. <laughs> you know, the good thing about this, and for anyone watching at home um, who hasn't seen this shit yet, uh, the good news is is that all these mid and, and low car guides that do suck. Bad news is the mid card card guys that are awesome, they get ran off. They never get a push. We never see them again. Yeah, they go good, to a different company. Good news is is that all the shitty ones stick around, and you get to see them absolutely crushed by Goldberg, and it's a <laughs> fucking shoot because he doesn't know what he's doing. You know, yeah. I am looking forward to the, to Goldberg just destroying the Renegade and like. Yeah. Lenny Lane and shit. When is Goldberg? September of 97? Sometime in there, yeah. yeah. About a year from now. Yeah, about September, because he wrestles on Starcade. Yeah. Um, But, but yeah, he just destroys them and causes bodily harm, and, yeah, so and a lot inter- of them have it coming. <laughs> that's entertaining. Maybe not for the right reasons, but it's entertaining. You will be happy to know that, Grant, up. there was no Glacier on uh, last week's episode. Oh, what the fuck? I'm not happy. I wish that he's going to be on this one now. Fuck. Uh, yes. <laughs> Why, are the the DDPs? Why are there two DDPs? Why are there two DDPs? Why is there a clone of DDP it's cutting a promo during the DDP match? I want that Halloween Havoc t-shirt. What was that thing we saw the last show we wanted? Oh, oh. The, the Slim Jim uh, cardboard. Yeah, uh, there was a Slim Jim display. Yeah. That's kind of a knockoff of the original UFC logo. Sort of, Little, yeah. yeah, it really is. I never looked at that before. Hey, he's starting to do the bang. I think that may, yeah. might be our first bang of the podcast. Oh. Jim Power does roll-ups for five minutes. The, the, not the, a mo- kick. the show, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, damn, shoot slap. Yep. DDP's shooting. Jesus. Oh, he, instead, like he was telling him, fucking lay that next one in, motherfucker. Yeah. So, um, Grant, how's your e-fed coming? You're going into I'm, the mail-in? You're doing the I'm old gonna, mail-in e-fed. I think I'm going to send this in. Well, I'm, it's it's I'm, the Imaginary Wrestling Association, right? <laughs> uh, uh, I believe that's what it's called. And that's, and that's the same one that was always in the magazines. I got the yeah. form off their website. I've never and seen they them had the Cecil magazines that he had. Oh, yeah, diamond they, cutter. We we just totally glossed over the fact that he just diamond cuttered the shit out of him. It's because it came and out it, of nowhere. You know, instead of Teddy Long distracting the referee or like distracting DDP or trying to pull the ref out of the ring or trying to pull Jim Powers out of the ring, 
Tate Long just stands there, and it's because he's a bad manager. He's not doing yeah. his damn job. Nick Patrick sells his neck every match. Yeah, he's great. Every match. Ah! <laughs> That'll show you Teddy Long. Please, please diamond cut Teddy Long. My life will please. He whispered, said, I'm, I'm not really going to hit you. Please diamond cut Teddy Long. Please. Please. Ow. People are starting to really dig diamond. He's getting over. Hell yeah, he's got a bulletproof finisher, man. He's getting the move yeah. over. Can come out of nowhere. I guess uh, this is on... Oh, uh... Went out of the full out of the full Nelson into the diamond cutter. On Sean Moody's like podcast, that. DDP was on there, and I guess uh, right when uh, Triple H went over to the Fed, and around the same time, he uh, was actually starting to use like the diamond cutter. Yep. And DDP called him and said, "Hey, yep. I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that." Yep, he I, I've heard that story because they were. I mean, they were in WCW around the same time. Yeah, DDP DDP was managing, but mm-hmm. when he was uh, Jean Paul Levesque or Terra Rising. <laughs> oh, they're hugging it out, even though he sucks. Yep. Tanae is going to nod at people. That's what he does. See if he comes he's out got the time. he's got All the right. shiftiest eyes ever. We're gonna try this again. Last week, Savage didn't come out and instead went to a hotel room and freaked out Miss Elizabeth. In oh, fact, our driver's this. Oh, we got the driver of the WCW car. Man, they're the doing the car. They are doing a lot of NASCAR cross promotion with motorsports mm-hmm. it's well remember at this time nascar was was branded and rightfully so it was the fastest growing sport in america yeah, it was huge and then they it fucked it tbs well the they time. fucked it up and took it out of the south and yeah. now nobody cares about it yeah this ought to be interesting see who this is Jason Keller it's a heck of a mustache he doesn't know what to do he's got a Jesse Ventura butt chin (laughs) he does so butt chins don't look like don't look good on meek I would mark out if Kyle Petty came out and waffled this guy with a chair Because Kyle Petty's the NWO I might driver. have watched NASCAR if I, like, they had angles. <laughs> <laughs> they should. Like when they win a race and get their, you know, $20 million, somebody just whacks them over there yeah. with a sledgehammer steals or their Steals their check. Takes the hump yeah. cap and just... Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, it got, oh, got right. a wreck. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. There's only like 40 There's cars like, in those yeah. races. He's not even in the top half. <laughs> but he finished, and the NWO car didn't. So, there you go. <laughs> He's like, this guy thinks this it's a is, shoot. Uh, He's like, this... what? You were there. Why are you asking uh, me that? This is what we still call the... Uh... I believe it was still Bush Series at this time. Or Winston Cup. It says Bush or Winston right there, Cup, because he's uh, got it might, a... be, it might be Bush Series then. Yeah. I still call yeah. it Winston Cup. Everybody, today's going to party with Randy Savage. Everybody. He's going to go party. <laughs> he was there, Mosh. You know what happened. <laughs> he's wearing that out in public. He's listening to himself talk. In the so, no, why is he so. taping his knuckles and wrists at a NASCAR event? Was he planning on uh, getting into a wrestling match? If you're Randy Savage, I think the answer is yes. Yeah, you're probably right. I just ate a clove of garlic. Like, plain? Do you have, like, liver issues you need to take care of? No, I just like it. That's oh. disgusting. I mean, I like garlic, but I don't know if I'd like Ugh, a clove of garlic all at once. Lord. No, like, I roasted it. Oh, okay. I just thought you were just chomping on raw cloves of garlic. No, Uh-oh. it's a whole oh, bunch. Of... Butt's looking good today. Get this race car driver out of here. It'd be awesome if that guy just started be like picking up on Liz. Be oh, like, yeah. hey, I know he doesn't want anything to do with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Here's Grant's favorite tag Everybody's got to get out. Clear the entryway for the sensation that is the new greatest tag team in WCW. Guys that will take Steiner screwdrivers without asking questions. Because they will take bumps. We should create some sort of a mixed drink called the Steiner screwdriver. Um, it would just be um, orange juice and... Uh, orange juice, vodka, and cocaine. Yeah, pretty much. These, and a steroid. These fucking guys. Stop talking into the camera. Ugh. Everybody does it. You're gonna get are, destroyed. Are they alive? Who knows? Uh, I mean, you can look them up. We, up we watched... <clears throat> We watched uh, my Thanksgiving tradition, which is um, Survivor Series 89 at the very least. Right. And I believe one of the matches, it might have been the maybe not the main event, maybe the match before that, but everyone on both teams was alive. That hmm. doesn't happen that often. Doesn't it sure does these guys being dead. Yeah. That's amazing. So uh, this yeah. probably isn't going to end well for high no. voltage, I'd say. They're getting a good reaction here. Yeah. Island gibberish. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's so fucking scary. <laughs> I haven't seen Kevin Sullivan in a couple weeks. No, he's not. I wonder what he's doing. He's pos- probably getting more airbrushed t-shirts done. <laughs> um, yeah, this, I, cr- this crowd is all middle-aged people and little kids instead of sorry. college students. So, so I'm doing some research here, and I'm trying to figure out what the Steiner screwdriver is going to be. Okay. It could be vodka, orange juice, and rumple mints. Oh, God. Which would be terrible. Or there's a booze I've had it before. It's called it's called the uh, uh, Barn Fang, which is um. You say Barn it's basically, Fang, like T H A N G. Barn... <laughs> no F A N G. Oh, oh Barn a, Fang. I thought he said Barn Fang. I said no. I just thought he got a little urban on us there for <laughs> and a it's, little bit. Well, and it's it's slightly honey flavored liquor that's yeah. basically vodka. So base honey, orange juice, vodka. We should yeah. ask. We should ask our friends at Steiner Facts at on Twitter oh, yeah. and see what they would put in it because they know all about the Steiner brothers. What's like a oh, popular God, Michigan he's, drink? He's no selling. I got it. It's uh, it's that like Goldschlager and Gold orange Schlager. juice. Goldschlager oh, and orange juice. Yeah, because that's vodka. Uh oh, we got the horseman out here. All right, I mean, that's it. That's that's the Steiner screwdriver. Orange flogger and, and orange juice. Uh, okay, and orange juice. We'll try that in February. We're not. I I will not. <laughs> yeah, I'll say if, if someone else can try it, I'll watch. <laughs> but so why are they out on the entryway? Are they just scouting? You don't hit the island savage in the head. You can't do it. Jesus Christ, they are like moving in slow motion. I know. And now we can't see anything. What's the connection Long... between the uh, horsemen and these guys? I don't get it. I don't. I don't know. I think they're just scouting out the faces of fear. Maybe he's got the Halliburton. Maybe. May... Okay, I'm not sure what happened there, Robbie. Maybe. Maybe they're scouting Robbie Rage to join the horsemen. I don't know. <sighs> Kids, for those of you at home that aren't familiar with this time period, the thing that Mongo's holding. Does not guarantee him a title shot. At yeah, any point that's he wants a good one. That's a good point. Um. We talked, the about the, we talked about the We talked about the Halliburton. Um, the Halliburton is going to pretty much be on every episode of Nitro, at least for the next year. We saw it really come into prominence being shot putted at the Renegade um, back at Disney a few months ago in the summer. Um, nice pump handle slam. Grant likes that. Fuck. He likes offense that rips your opponent's groin into. Yep. That's with the most own, effective kind. With his own arm. God damn it. Fucking Chris just keeps sending me nonsense I just on don't Facebook respond. Messenger. He's, stuff like that. He's gonna get fucking blocked if he ain't <laughs> careful. Yeah. He's fucking blackballed. Um, just unfriend him and set up a fa- fake account that says you're the real and then your name. 
and friend him on that one so he sends it all to that. Nice. Good idea. So yeah, high voltage is basically here to take bumps. That's what they're going to do. Which is fine, but it's not like there's any big crazy high spots to take. No, I mean they're taking sit out power bombs and shit. That whoa, just right up the old cornhole, huh, Barb? <laughs> That's how we're going to do this. Easy now. And another power bomb. A lot of variety <laughs> here. Why why is the barbarian is over as shit. I don't remember this. No, I remember him and Ming both being over. Like, he's getting... They're getting baby face reactions. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I like that. That's a proper use of a slingshot. No, later on, the, the crowd will completely go nuts for Ming's insane sign for the tongue and death grip. Right. Oh, yeah. The, wave. the flailing. Yeah. yeah, they're getting a hell of a baby face reaction. It may just be because they're against against a uh, high voltage <laughs> jesus christ yeah. seems like robbie rage is definitely the bump taker of the team seems like it. he takes all the nasty looking shit um jimmy hart's coat looks like something out of mid-90s nickelodeon that's a lot of colors <laughs> oh jimmy hart was just shouting the ready for halloween havoc so is that who's yeah they're they're, the they're wrestling benoit and mongo at halloween havoc oh, okay. so that's why they're out here Ooh, that 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 connected. Well, we got a good one coming up here. Oh boy, who is this? Okay, we'll click on click it. on it because I'm not familiar either. What are we clicking on? Um, uh, he's had one, two, three, four, five, six. That's oh, not his. Uh, and he wrestled for five years. Oh, hey, I, if you guys didn't mention it at the opening, um, I, I think we're all a fan. We put this out. Uh, uh, wishes and condolences going out to uh, the family of Jim Neighbors, Gomer Pyle. What happened? I didn't hear this. He died? Oh, he's dead. You're kidding. Seriously. I no, had Jim, not Jim heard. Neighbors passed, yeah. Jim wow. Neighbors died. That one, uh, well, that damn one made it. it past me. I didn't see that. That's uh, probably nobody is going to understand the reference because nobody knows who the hell Jim I Neighbors is get out is my Gomer Pyle sings but... the hits record. Yeah. I thought you had that. I, I referenced that at work today. <laughs> yeah, I got it somewhere. So uh, who we got coming out here, Grant? Tell me what you think of this guy. Just give me your first first word association First impression of uh, this guy. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Who is this fucking guy? Well, he's homeless. Like, <laughs> they they spell it Wenner. It's is his gimmick homeless? <laughs> he's got a pretty awesome mullet. He's a oh, heel. Yeah. He's a heel because he doesn't give high fives. This he, is his first and last Nitro appearance. He Mike, was in World War Three ninety five. No shit. Yeah, I'll be damned. Mike Wenner. And here we go. He kind of looks like... Glacier's getting a good pop here. Probably because it's mostly children in the crowd. Yeah. He kind of looks like Eddie Vedder did at the time. Yeah, a little Somewhat, bit. Yeah. We're going to see... Like bull- his less talented brother. We're going to see bullshit karate for the next couple minutes. Dude, they for real should have just done <laughs> they should have done like a martial arts belt or yeah. like a trophy or a ring a ring <laughs> the uh, the battle bowl ring was mentioned by uh, Shivani last week which is what was is it tech- oh notice how they outlined his name in blue nice oh, touch fuck. and uh but you gotta remember Eddie Guerrero Won the Battle Bowl ring from DDP, right. and then DDP just waffled him and stole it back, so nobody cares. I wonder if the ring still exists. We should find that out. Yeah, I wonder who has that. Um, probably Jason Hervey. Probably. Um, no, they should have done like a tournament, and the winner gets a shot at, I don't know, some sort of title. Not the world title, that would unless Goldberg had it. And then yeah. it's that the winner just gets destroyed. <laughs> Just get speared and jackhammered immediately. But no, later on when there's a hundred guys with uh, martial arts gimmicks. Yeah. Would have been a fun tournament. I'm looking forward to Mortis. Oh, yeah. He's good. He's 
He is good. What was the tag team? Mortis and Wrath. Wrath which right. is Brian uh, Clark. Clark. Yeah. Adam Baum. Yeah. Chronic. So Canyon and Clark, basically. Yeah. Um, I'm a I'm a big fan of Ernest the Cat Miller. Yeah, he just shoot kicked people in the face for a couple years and got and over. Was, and was good on the mic. Yep, entertaining guy. What the fuck happened to him? All right, he's still out there doing his thing. Fuck, so is Glacier for that matter. Mm-hmm. He's getting a good reaction here, better than I've seen in the past. Where's uh Where's his opponent? Where old Mr. Winter go? Oh, he's still in his leather jacket on the outside. He don't want to get in the ring. He's oh, like, yeah. Ernest, Ernest Miller was in uh, The Wrestler. Really? Yeah. I don't remember well, that. That's been 10 years ago itself. I haven't seen that in a long time. Fuck you guys. It's a good movie. I agree. We're, we're not getting old. It's All fun. right. <laughs> Captain Mullet Singlet. Bow to your partner. Bow to, <laughs> bow to your sensei. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Kill. Get over. I do like Zabisco tries like hell to make yeah. this shit sound legit. legit I mean, yeah. it doesn't work, but he's trying. His uh, glacier's tights, uh, like the upper part, looks like bitmap, just blue squares put onto black uh, spandex. <laughs> yes. He is in The Wrestler. He's the Ayatollah. Nice. <laughs> um, Ernest Miller was actually on before it was over Bischoff's podcast. He, uh, he's doing indie stuff now, like most guys. Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> Come he's on. still wrestling, yeah, in the indies. Come on, Mike Wiener. Winner. Wanner. Poke his eyes out. More like Mike Loser. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> what, what? That's the first time I think I've ever seen an Irish whip countered in that fashion. Well, that was... Pointless, but... That would have been real cool had he pulled it off. Well, yeah, they need to turn the freaking house lights on. Can't see shit. Yeah, no shit. shit. Turn the damn lights on. So if a wrestler's gimmick is that he wears night vision goggles, do they just shut the fucking lights off and let him kill the other guy? It's bullshit. It is. That's when I saw his first match on Nitro. There you go, he got it. Fuck. That's what made me the angriest about it. Like that's not that's not fair. Why would you do this? I love how he does karate hands before he does like a plancha. <laughs> like yeah. that is not. <laughs> it's part of his kata. Is the plancha it is to grab the rope and launch yourself over it onto the guy. That yeah. is not a martial arts move. Quit doing for, karate hands. For someone who has no clue what that means. What's kata? It's a fucking. Like, you see people doing forms where they... Form do, up, or... Eh, it's, yeah. It's pretending to fight invisible people by yeah. yourself. Oh, Ooh, nice. wow. Nice. I think he literally kicked the shit out of him there. He's... Yeah, his face now hurts. <laughs> of course, he has no death perception because the fucking lights <laughs> are blue. Of course, he full-on kicked him in the head. And he's probably wearing those hokey contacts, too. Yeah, just can't see nothing. He said something to Curtis, like, check on him. Yeah. He said something to him, and Curtis immediately goes over and checks on the other guy. And so such he probably is the career that. of Mark, Mike Winner. He probably, Wiener. Mark, he can't even get his fucking Mark. name right. <laughs> Mark Winner. He said something to Curtis, he's like, go check on him. I just full on spin kicked him in the face. He might be dying He might right have now. a concussion. His brain is bleeding. Now we get more... This is- Nitro this is fucking stuff. garbage. <laughs> the match was 2 minutes 26 seconds. If you count the intro and the outro, it's about 7 minutes. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> and it's not over. It's not fucking over. Oh, it ain't over. The reason they fucking turn the lights off is so you can't see the goddamn crowd sitting on their hands. That, you know what? You might be onto something there. <laughs> this what is shit. Just... What I hope just this, I hope this 47 seconds oh, to dynamite is Ernest when he gets Miller. killed. Yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That was, that was a shitty-looking back kick there, Glaish. Yeah, that's because he's a fucking hillbilly from Georgia. He's, I mean, Ray Lloyd, from everything I've seen, is a really nice guy. It's no. Not, it's, it's not his fault that he got sad. You know who else might shit. be a nice guy? Jim Powers. 
Yeah, well, you know. Um, no, it's, I'm annoyed they didn't give this to someone who had the background for it. If they were, I'm annoyed they did it first. Give off. it to an Asian guy. Yeah. Give it to yeah. Kaz Hayashi, which Kaz they kind of did. Yeah. Give it to fucking, I don't know. That's it. That's it. He ran through the Asian, uh, well, remember roster there. Ghetto was on a pay-per-view a while back. Remember? Oh, Ghetto from New yeah. Japan? Yeah. yeah. He wrestled Jericho at uh, Fall Brawl. Huh. I forgot. I think it was Fall Brawl. I don't know. Ah, crap. Bischoff's back. I thought... Hey, I I wonder if that match wasn't supposed to go longer, because he stood there and did kata until the hour kicked off. Yeah, they probably... Something probably went short. Well, he freaking tore Mike Winter's head off. Well, because if that that kick was just a little stiff, you wouldn't be worried about the guy. Yeah, but it's probably like, I need to cover him because I just freaking hammered him. But if he hammered him and the other guy said go home, then yeah, yeah, you might be on to something. I mean, you don't you don't know, but that's a good theory, right? But goddamn, there's, they get there's they a gave... looker, there's a couple yeah, lookers. Yeah. There's, there's a guy, there's girl. a guy that looks just like the girl. <laughs> <laughs> they had the same hairdo. It's like it just degraded the further they span <laughs> the pan the camera over. So they gave <laughs> the fourth one was just like a toad. That was <laughs> that was like a fucking Chuck Jones joke or something. Uh, they gave. Harlem Heat and Public Enemy, ten goddamn minutes. And then they were still short on time. Hugh Morris went to the Old West store. Yeah, he went to Boot City. (laughs) (laughs) That is an odd uh, vest. Yeah. People loved freaking tassels back then. Well, he got it from whatever store uh, Doc Brown got Marty McFly's Adam symbol. Every, oh, there you go. Everybody get pumped up for God. What the fuck are you wearing? J E double F J A double R E double T. Just just not wear a shirt. That makes no more sense. Zach. There's the fourth one with the haircut. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then it goes to Jarrett. You have you look like fucking Goldilocks wearing a bad stripper <laughs> oh, top. Jesus. What the fuck? I'm gonna see if I can find Star Maker Boland in the crowd again because he's on the hard camera. Kill him, Morris. Fuck him up. God he's wearing, damn it, black, he's wearing black wrestling boots. Uh, so he has just left. His 90-day non-compete just ran out. And he's in WCW. I hate him God more than Ice tassels, Train. Jesus. Doing the Fargo strut. Hate him more than Ice Train. Wow, we have a new champion. <laughs> Fuck. In the Grant-hated wrestler department. <laughs> I mean, no, Bischoff's putting over Jerry. Jerry. (laughs) We ain't got, let's not do that. That could go off a cliff in a heartbeat. Yep. Stop it. Stop doing that. (laughs) Why are you doing that? You're not fucking Terry Funk and there was no reason for it. Yeah, Star Maker Boland was sitting where that empty orange chair is. He is not there anymore at this Uh. point. Old J A double R E double T. Stop it! It's not gonna stop for another year, so you better just God. hold Damn on it. for the so ride. Bad. He's literally in the company almost exactly a year, so mm-hmm. just get ready. You know what, Jeff Jarrett? I hope you fucking leave the company, go somewhere else, have a little bit of success, win a title, and lose it to a girl, <laughs> and come back and destroy the company. Yeah. Fuck. He- that's a move, huh? Like, he's strutting around like a heel. Wow, well, that ought to make you happy, because Bill DeMott just straight up <laughs> stiffed the shit out of him there. Like, he really is. Jeff Jarrett's doing it to the point of being the heel. Yeah, of course he is. And he's, I mean, he's... But I don't think he's supposed to be. I don't know. I think he's supposed to be. Then just he's not doing in, a very good job of just it. Just put him in there with Scott Norton and fucking... Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Bischoff. Oh, it's over. Okay, good. I'm glad we can get we can move on to the next angle. I'm glad that won't go for another, I don't know, three to four years till the company ends. Yeah. Fuck. No, no, it wasn't. He bent over and he kicked him in the face. 
It wasn't a Taekwondo move, Bischoff. <laughs> it wasn't anything. We haven't had a big uh, debut for a while. No. No. We still haven't. And but we no, still have I mean, exactly Jeff Jarrett for what I mean he's a name. People no, he's the that, Smoky Mountain wrestling uh whatever you call it. You're right, he is a name. He's a last name because of his dad. Yeah. He was well, the NWA champ. Uh yeah. Like was he the last NWA champ at I this point? I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know anymore. Um I think at this like right now in our timeline I think Dan Severn's the NWA champion. Is he at this point? Yeah, cuz the NWA went into the shoot fighting thing there for a while where they only wanted like legit badasses to be their champ. There's a good drop kick there Grant. What do you think about that? He's got I a good drop Jeff kick. He do- it's okay. <laughs> this is going to be the new segment on the show is Grant ranting against Jeff Jarrett. I f- he's de- what's he wearing? What is that? It's a uh, fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> Fuck. Well, damn, Jeff Jarrett never even was the end. Of- he was yeah. the Smoky Mountain champion, I think. Yep. At this time, it was damn. Dan Severn held it for four damn years Jesus, yeah. from '95 to '99. Yeah, no, Holy it's shit. the old shoot thing. If you want it, go fucking take it yeah, from go, him. Yeah, go beat him. Uh-oh. Figure four leg lock. He does it better than Flair because he actually wins matches with it, Grant. What do you think you know of that? Is, you know this is all a fucking work, right? No, no, it's real. <laughs> wow. Wow. God, damn, he didn't even try to get to the ropes. Yeah, he beat some guy in a fucking stable that hasn't been relevant for months. It almost looks like his call, like he's wearing a cummerbund around his neck. Yeah. <laughs> like if he were just wearing the long trunks, I'd be way more okay with it. But See, I don't understand the top part. He he didn't cheat to win. He's not telling the crowd to go fuck themselves. He's just being annoying. He's being a tweener on purpose in the bad way. It's his gimmick is the red rooster minus the comb, and like the chicken head clucking. The chi- right. They should have given him the red rooster gimmick. He would have been perfect. I can make a lot of parallels between Jeff Jarrett and Terry Taylor. I mean, they're both solid in ring guys who wanted to be Ric Flair really bad. I would try to pull Terry Taylor out of a burning car. That's the difference. Maybe I won't tag <laughs> Jeff Jarrett in this episode. <laughs> you, you'll uh, you'll have to go back and listen because last week I said the same thing about Hogan. Like maybe <laughs> yeah. I won't tag That's him. Pretty bad stuff. Oh song, god! Isn't it? And he Sunday. gets interview time. Grant, how's that? Well, make let's you all feel? hear this. This would be great. <laughs> let's see if he's any better than. Is the middle nice the middle uh, strip? Is it like a cummerbund? Yeah, it's like different. Yeah. It's like lace. Okay, it's Chantilly lace. Huh. Had a pretty face, what a pretty bird. Here in about 20 years, I'm gonna open a wrestling company and bail on it in about two weeks. <laughs> All right, Jared Hogan, book it. Yeah, he's, he's really in business for himself here trying to get a Hogan angle going well they, in fairness they asked him his thoughts on the NWO mm-hmm. he looks like he's wearing the top of a wedding cake around his <laughs> neck <laughs> like Jesus Christ it looks like frosting <laughs> oh my trying really hard to not make a chicken salad reference when they talk yeah. about J- Jerry Jarrett's <laughs> dinner table. Oh, God. Okay. It's like, resist the urge. But I can't right well, now I can't because I can't else. remember anybody else. <laughs> he knows. Remember when Jarrett dressed up like Surfer Sting, like in two, like in the last 
eight to ten yeah. episodes. I mean, of I Nitro. didn't until now, but yeah. Jeff Jarrett is in WCW. Get ready he... for Halliburton madness for the next twelve months. <laughs> And what what the fuck? All he did was well, <laughs> NWO ad. Oh, this is the buy the, the shirt. Generic buy the shirt one. <laughs> That's I, I would. I kind of like that. Just a giant go buy. The if shirt. he's yelling at me to buy something and threatening me, I'm probably doing it. If that promo was nothing but just the giant screaming go buy the like shirt, two I'd sec- two yeah. seconds over. That'd be uh, that'd be more memorable. Mm-hmm. See, Bischoff's wearing black again. He's he's yeah, uh, te- teasing that heel turn. Looks like he got his hair cut, too. Looks shorter. Yeah, a little bit. Weasel chant. A fucking announcer is the most over guy on the show. Yeah. Well, Grant, the next match will at least make you probably happier. So you can let go of all I, your Jeff Jarrett rage. I, I don't trust you. Grant got glacier, a Glacier Jeff Jarrett double shot oh, there. Man. He's he's Fuck. having he's having a problem. Let them wrestle each other and implode the building. <laughs> Can't believe they blew up the Georgia Dome. I know. That's I crazy. know. It's fucking gone, man. Game over, man. And I mean, I guess those things are really expensive to fucking maintain, and they have plans for the space and whatever. But goddamn, that seems like an expensive fucking thing to just blow up yeah i mean he, he, here i am with a screwdriver and and fucking vice grips trying to fix a four dollar can opener for hours at a night <laughs> like make and, a, and, blowing up freaking arenas i don't know and they're turn, like dad turn it into a homeless sh- turn it into a homeless shelter i don't know fill it up with water and turn it into a swimming pool make an aquarium out of it fuck yeah uh-oh R. Anderson is what? He's incensed. Oh, I thought he was incensed. Because Elizabeth has <laughs> turned her... <laughs> Elizabeth turned her back on the horseman, and now she's running around with the NWO or Savage or who knows which one. But it's the Renegade in his non-gimmick ever since Jimmy Hart... Apparently, you get paint rubbed off your face once. You can't just reapply that shit. Yeah. He looks strung out. Yeah, he's, he's, I mean, just, the next time they show his face, he's kind of got that out he puffy, drug addict look yeah, about he's him. He's got that kind of glassed over, or the glazed over look in his eyes. Yeah, there's those people again. <laughs> he's probably not smart enough to know that you can just put it back on. So, uh, man, this ma- I'm surprised this match gets as much time as it does, but they're gonna you go might get to s- see Arn Anderson hit him for real. Yeah. Double A hit a nice DDT on the last show. I kind of made a... My hot take is that I'm starting to think Double A might have the better DDT between him and Roberts. I don't know. Yeah. It's uh, the more I see it, it's hard to beat. He's at least 1B if he ain't the best. You know, I'm kind of uncomfortable saying this because it feels like a weird comment, but like that's a good-looking couple. Arn and woman. So was yeah, that like, was that Starmaker Bolin that just waved at the camera? I, I think it was. Yeah, in second. the blue shirt, front row, hard cam. I mean, it very well could be, but is that Starmaker Bolin, Grant? You know, tweet it, him right now, right there, boom. Tweet him right now. Ask if he was. They just in showed Nitro it. On, on you know, I, I I I don't know, but the kid with him would be about the right age, I think. Yeah, I don't prince, know. The prince. The prince. <laughs> yeah. He just waved at the camera, like they got a real good shot of him. I think it's Star Maker. Well, during the glacier posing at the end of the match, there's a lot of good shots of him. Renegade versus Arn Anderson. This will be interesting. Actually, fun fact: the Renegade defeated Arn Anderson back in '95 uh, to win the TV title. Hmm. So uh, that happened. Double A gonna get that win back though. So hey, but, how do you know that? Well, because I. Fucking, yeah. Yeah, Renegade's not looking real healthy. All right, here we go. Did you run it back? No, you know, I don't think that's him. Don't think it is? I don't know either, really. Because when Bolin was younger, he looked super Italian. 
Super Italian, huh? Yeah, like hair that looked fake. It was this so is, dark. This is interesting because this match, Double A is working as a baby face, and yeah. we don't see that often. It's hard to not be a baby he's got, face. Well, he's he's kid. he's got, <laughs> exactly. He's gonna do all the same shit, but he's a baby face. Damn, a woman. I'm okay with it. Sure. I am okay with that. No, I feel like it's a good uh, a good visual with Arn because Arn's so much bigger than Benoit. Benoit yeah. and woman Arn's look like, like the same those... size. He's deceptively big. So like, I don't know. When I was growing up, when I was little, like it seemed like all my dad's friends were kind of like. Arn Anderson looking types, not like right, you know, not strength wise or anything, but like just kind of sure. hairy, balding, <laughs> chubby men. Right. But they all like had families and wives, and like I think there's something women like about Arn Anderson's like style, just as a mature kind of respectable man type. Which is why so I, I, I feel want to be like Arn we are quickly entering a, a bear twink <laughs> discussion here, and I'm not okay with it. And I'd like I to seriously move. my my aspirations in life. Zach, Zach, just mm. let me stop you. I don't like where this is going, and I'd like to move on, please. I'm in love with Arn Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> like I did. Like this is gonna turn into a bear twink power bottom uh. discussion. Hey, Aloha Arn. <laughs> How much you think he actually weighs? How much you bench? I don't know. <laughs> Jesus Christ, can we move on? Look, I love I like Arn Anderson as much as the next guy, but I'm not going there. Oh, but I like Arn Anderson. <laughs> I like like Arn Anderson. I'm gonna guess about two thirty five. Eesh. Ah. Oh, damn. Man. Jeez. No, you know, I'm sure she's like a size fucking four, but woman's just a little bit thicker and Benoit's a little smaller and they look the same fucking size. They do. I mean, yeah, it's just because Benoit's short and she's right. wearing heels and shit. Right. No, Benoit needs like a big fat manager. So like Paul Bear. <laughs> Last week, um, Arn Anderson wrestled Jericho. You should go back and watch that oh, match because it, it's definitely a two eras kind of crossing paths that I'm sure it was one of probably the only time they ever wrestled each other. It's like that, yeah. uh, that's an interesting combo. Oh, punched him right in the old, the bread basket as Gorilla Monsoon would say. It's dark outside already. <coughs> Choke him. Clay, there was a drop down a second ago, and I don't remember. It was someone on Steve Austin's podcast, I, I think, and they were talking about, uh, you know, like how all the. It was Raven. It was him and Raven. Okay. And they were talking about, you know, like that's the standard, you know, off the ropes drop down. Right. Shoulder block. Tackle. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Um, and they were head, discussing head, like headlock, shoot them off, tackle, drop down, right. leapfrog, sequence. Right. And they were discussing where that like came from, and and they were just like kind of thinking out loud through it. And it was well, you know, the first guy they threw him into the ropes, and they'd grab on as they they did. And at some point, some guy thought, "Well, I'll come off the ropes," and you know, uh, it went from there. But then the drop down, and I think they're right was probably an evolution of, well, the guy's coming back and I'm already on the ground. I'll, I'll roll at him or I'll shoot for right. his legs, you know, right. like a, like a chop. And it kind of bastardized itself and into it, a working type. And it, it, yeah, it went more and more into a work, but that's, I, it really makes sense now. And you, yeah. you see guys when Arn did it, what made me think of it when Arn did it. And when a lot of older guys do it, instead of dropping straight down, they drop down but shoot themselves toward the other guy. Right. Yeah, that's it. That's such a that's a small thing, but yeah. yeah but but it's something that, that I've noticed a lot of old timers, a lot of a lot of shoot type guys will will do, and it's I, it's just something you've never really I've right. never heard an announcer Mr. point out, but Mr. I bet that's the reason to it. Right. Right. Double A work in the arm. Moonsault arm. No. <laughs> 
Vader bomb Wouldn't on. That'd be great if you just bust out of the moon salt. <laughs> just Terry Funk. The the Terry Funk like bad looking yet awesome looking yeah. moon salt. When Terry <laughs> Funk does it, I believe it. It's just not graceful at all, but he just that's that's what it should look like when a human <laughs> being does that. <laughs> yeah. Just looks like a car crash. Did they mention exactly. Arn Anderson at all on the on this week's shows, Raw or SmackDown? Um, I, didn't I don't know. I haven't watched them yet. They're on my DVR. Yeah, I'm but... screaming so loud when I watch them that I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the Spinebuster on Starcade was probably the hardest I've marked out. It looked pro so wrestling good in a really long time. It looked so good, and it wasn't even. Oh Jesus! He did the China bump. <laughs> the China non move back splash. Yeah. Oh, four fifty. All right, go for Let's it. See Do this it, Renegade. Let's see it. He's gonna get caught with something. Come on, Spinebuster, please. Uh, you gotta do that. You gotta do it. Just, <laughs> he just punched him in the back of the. That should be the finish. Just pin him. Uh, you just punched him in the back of the head. Something. Sad. Dude, let's look at the crowd. Oh. Okay, so Grant, what do you think? This is the second time we've seen it in two weeks. Jer- he sticks Jericho. Well, sticks him I, with it. I need to watch it again, but I know you know what I think he does. Free I think he does it the same way that Raven does it. Right. Instead of one leg, he's kicking Instead both legs out. Instead of one leg, out. he kicks both legs out. I think he, that's what it is. God, it just looks it looks more imp- like Roberts's is probably quicker. Or Luger and Renegade in cahoots. Is that a you thing? You never know who you can trust. You know. Are they a team now? Who gives a so shit? The RWO right Luger, here. why do you roll order? Their team name could be... Um... It's the One Renegade Nation. <laughs> <laughs> The Orn versus know. the Arn. <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. So why are they up? Maybe they're wrestling at Halloween Havoc, and we just don't know it yet. T-squared. T-squared? Yes. Okay. So what's T-squared? What now? As in testosterone. Oh, got it. Oh, my God. So how about how about the, in, in homage to NWA times, uh, how about the the uh, the anabolic express the anabolic, anabolic express. express nice so my argument on for Arn Anderson's DDT versus Jake Roberts look Jake Roberts made the DDT what it is his is quicker maybe a little snappier Arn's is more impactful I would argue well we're gonna have to do a comparison because one of the things when I'm thinking of Jake Roberts doing a DDT off the top of my head is that the guys are all bigger bigger than even the Renegade right. Yeah, a lot bigger guys. That's true. So, you know, I don't know. We'll have to do some field research. <laughs> <laughs> Squire Dave Tay. Oh, is Jeeves quitting? I don't want to oh, be quitting. Oh, yeah, I anymore. think he's quitting. He's probably. <laughs> oh, shit, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. His Good... contract must be up. Good sell by Jeeves. Yeah. Good work. Might be the end of him. We haven't seen Regal in a while. Is no. he still around? He might be in either? Europe or Japan. Oh, he's around for another couple years. Oh. I guess he does like have massive. So Luger forward, so. came out, saved the Renegade, went back only for his music to be played so he composed <laughs> with Pyro. Wow. Like like I honestly thought Luger was already gonna be in the ring when Taylor that would have made out. sense because I'm like, oh, he's already out there. Nope, had to go back so he could get his music. It would have been better if Luger was in the ring. His music started. They show him run to the entrance like, way just to pose. <laughs> wait, wait, and then runs. Then he back. comes back to the ring. That, that actually would have been would've. great. That would have played well. Remember a year ago when Luger's character was like clumsy, like and, clumsy, yeah. kind of like almost yeah. a comedic. I enjoyed heel. that. Quite a that bit. was fun yeah. when he's like. Being an asshole be behind Sting's stuff. back, and then Sting yeah, looks at him, good. he's like high fiving <laughs> and being a white meat baby face. Yeah. Luger Only doesn't do like a serious gimmick well. Yeah, he actually doesn't do bad when he's trying to be funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they should have stuck with that. It just I doesn't think. happen very often. They should have. That should have been his gimmick all the way through. So I'm guessing Luger might wrestle Double A at Halloween Havoc. That seems like that's a. I'm gonna assume thing. that Dave Taylor is wrestling Jeeves. <laughs> that might be the last we see of him. He's dead. 
He ate one European uppercut and got critical and is down. This was a shoot match. I'd uh, I'd think differently, but it's not. Yeah. So Luger probably gonna get pretty quick uh, work out of this. Oh, Luger has comments. Fuck. There's two Lugers. <laughs> Oh, I like how they, I like how they staggered them to make the in-ring action even smaller. Right. So look at all that wasted space they could have used. No shit. So apparently Regal's the TV champ now. So okay, right. and Luger's coming for it for some. You think he'd set his sights a little higher, but <laughs> why weren't they the smart title? enough to cross promote these split screens with the flames with Burger King? Right, it writes itself. It's fucking charbroiled, man. <laughs> yeah, that would have been. You just have burgers at the top, and you're. That's it. Oh, these two. That Luger is trying to execute a backslide. Taylor, Taylor got him through that. Okay. Burger King sandwiches have gone way downhill. I have not ate Burger King. They did. They, they don't taste charbroiled anymore. Probably ten years. I bet it has been uh, a long it time. It sucks. But I had. Uh, where was I the other day? Maybe it's. Uh, Oh, Sonic. I yeah. was in Mattoon, and I yeah. grabbed a Sonic yeah. hamburger. They taste better than Burger King ever tasted, but it's had, the same flavor. I haven't had Sonic in a long time, either. I, I enjoy a good blue coconut cream slush. Ugh, Jesus. <laughs> well, I'm comes glad with, someone Comes does. with a free insulin shot. <laughs> it's fucking delicious. Going up top. Eh, at least the good effort at the elbow drop. So back to your E-Fed, uh, your, your mail-in right. E-Fed. Was that your um, um, card that was filled out with all the super kicks, or was that somebody yeah, else? Yeah, no, that was me. I filled that out. It was like you had to write down 20 or so moves, and 18 of them were super kicks. One was a roll-up, and the other one said, other guy's finisher. <laughs> yeah. It. Oh, that's hilarious. So I didn't know if that was yours so, or... Okay, no, that so, was mine. And, is and, that Star and actually, Mm, no, he's, I don't know. He's got Star Maker's chin. Yeah. Or chin. Probably chins. a cousin. <laughs> um, but uh, with that uh, E-Fed, or the M-Fed, the mail-in fed, M- what's, uh, <laughs> what's the turnaround on your uh, on that? Three months. I, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Yes! Uh, that freaking popped me. Ooh, nice. I love it. I love Luger's selling, too, how he's just laying motionless. Uh-huh. <laughs> totally dead. <laughs> Like he didn't sell it all. He's just he's just laid there, totally motionless. I kind of like that. That popped me. I did not expect <laughs> that. Don't fuck with Arn Anderson. He will sneak attack your ass. That is awesome. Well, this is a better show than last time. Now the elephants are upstairs. <laughs> He got hit by the chair and then just like laid there like a cadaver yeah. and didn't move for like three more chair shots. Good on Luger there. That was a good one. Oh, that was great. That makes me happy. <laughs> Main event time. Main event time. This has potential. Gets the most time for the night. Meltzer gives this three and a half stars. So. Meltzer doesn't give a whole lot of stars in Nitro matches anymore, so it must be worth yeah. watching, I guess. I have a random question. Hey, he brought, the, he brought his brother with him this week because he got screwed last week by the Horsemen, so yeah. that makes sense now. Yeah. Brought who's the, who, who's the head referee in WCW at this point? The head referee? Probably re- Nick Patrick. Well, I actually think it's like Randy Anderson or something. Oh. I don't know. I don't think they really have one. Well, and here's why I'm asking. Mark Curtis's shirt was a noticeably different color than everybody else's. His I referee think shirt. You're probably reading too much into it because this is WCW you and they probably, probably just, like, washed it with collars. Yeah, or something like don't it. don't read too much into it. Scott Steiner is as big as a house. Yeah. Holy. He looks so young. Like yeah. then. Right. But two years later he looks like he's about, you know, yeah, he, 50. Yeah, he ages a lot in the next couple of years. So, is Mongo, woman. is Mongo wrestling? Okay, no. So instead of Benoit's music, they're coming out to the Horseman music this week. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. 
So, Grant, these two wrestled last week, and they only got about four minutes. It was an okay match, but the ending was, of course, a schmoz, which was our first Halliburton shot of the next year. So, it's got a big uh, dent in Halliburton. Yep, it's got a big old dent in it. This Those match, things were expensive. This match gets uh, ten and a half minutes, so it's going to get Ooh. some time. Oh, so an- another random thing that I kind of noticed, and I can't find anything on. Um, Fall Brawl 93, if you guys get a chance, go back and watch a little of it. Uh, Clay, I guess this one's for you. I have listen, not, I don't think listen I've ever to seen the, that show. So listen to the ring announcer. It's listed as David Penzer, but it's not Dave Penzer. It's probably Gary Michael Capetta, isn't it? Is it? What's I, he said? Does, does he sound like Rich Goins? I don't know who that is. I don't no, Rich, Rich Goins, the old uh, UFC guy that always announced guys last yes. name twice, like a yes. 1930s. That's, that's Gary Michael Capetta. Okay. okay. Most early 90s WCW ring announcing is Gary Michael Capetta, who does a pretty good job. I like him. Yeah, no, it sounded like fucking Goins for a minute. Okay, I, I remember that, the early UFCs. Yeah, because he always said guy's last name twice, like 1930s boxing. Right. Uh, I wonder if you know, I, I don't actually, I think it was that same Steve Austin and Raven interview. They were talking about how good of a worker Benoit was their only complaint. I'd never heard anyone say this. And now it's ruined Benoit for me is that he works too fast. So who, who said that That about who Austin and Raven were talking that Benoit just wasn't comfortable slowing down, gotcha. letting things sink in with the crowd. He just was He'd never just pose all the time. way to get heat. Yeah. And it was he, because he felt like he couldn't. Yeah. Cause he, I mean, that's just, he's insecure. Right. Right. Um, so there we go. Our, we finally have a complaint about Benoit's work. There you go. I mean, can't complain about anything else about the guys. So yeah. I don't know what, <laughs> what it could be. <laughs> Zach's parenting. <laughs> That's great. Opening the door, yeah. The um last week when these two wrestled, I'm trying to remember. Um I noticed Benoit had his uh his tooth that's knocked out. He had it capped. Like he had oh, it looked like he okay. had all his teeth when he did an interview. I don't know if it's the same thing this week or not though. He may have just jammed a chiclet in there. And I'm sure I was saying it was a Dr. thing where um, when he goes to Dr. WWF, I'm sure they said, hey, make sure that's part of your character, you know, take that yeah. fake tooth out. We want to highlight that. Chin lock. Fuck yeah. God dang. Scott Steiner is good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he is... Uh... He's huge. Liam, what is in your hand? <laughs> what is that? Eat that. Oh, uh, God. We got kids. It's devolving. <laughs> oh, it's a Rice Krispie treat. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was what? throw up. What the hell? I want a Rice Krispie treat. Well, there's plenty over here. Whew. I'll email you one. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> Short clothesline miss. German. High German. <laughs> on the back. Right of on the head. head. He gotta quit taking them on his dang head. Just take a flat back bump well, for God's sake. I know sake. where that gets him. I know. Right. Isn't that right? He got CTE. <laughs> you know, if there were a big enough problem with Nick Patrick's refereeing, why do they keep putting him in main events and high profile matches? Yeah, right. Like it doesn't like make every match. Yeah. Like it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's just the lack of having someone in fucking charge who knows things. Yeah, I don't to make know. the call on these details. I mean, I don't know. I get it because they're trying to build an angle, so you got to have him in there. But I don't know. Then tell us why, if if you don't think that people that were still willing to believe this was real at the time Say weren't at he's... home yelling, why is he refereeing? He's a dirty fucking like... crook. It wouldn't take very much to say, okay, sit him out for a week. Okay, he's on suspension. And he's back right. the next week because he filed a union grievance. And exactly. And there's, there's pending stuff going on, so he has to work. 
You right. know what I mean? Like, it, it would be very easy. Oh, he's throwing out Scott Steiner. He's selling the neck. Yeah. Maybe not. Thanks, Patrick Dar. Patrick does do a good job. He sells his neck every yeah. match. He does does a heck of a job. No, he's the third best promo and probably a top 15 or 20 worker. No kidding. Oh, he's saying he's going to fine Scott Steiner for touching him. Putting hands on him. Can't touch people. No. That's... that's You'll get Matt... La- get kicked you, off the Today Show. You'll get Matt Loward. <laughs> That'll be a dated <laughs> reference when this comes out. <laughs> I barely know who he is now. NWC. Limo. Oh, it's an O, but it looks like NWC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, who's NWC? Man, those old Lincoln Continental limousines. There were a lot of them rolling around. That guy that lived down the road from us. Uh-oh. And, uh Yeah, I remember. He had that um, limo he drove as a daily driver. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, they're, <laughs> they're actually here. Remember when they were in Detroit and I pushed you off a building a couple <laughs> years ago? <laughs> no hard feelings, right? No hard feelings about that. You were fine. No, of course I knew it wouldn't hurt you. I still think that's What's Star Maker that Bolin. The closer you look at him, or I mean, the further away it is, it looks like him, but I don't know. I don't know what he looked like in 96. I found some old pictures of him, and he just, he looked so stereotypical Italian mobster, fat Tony-ish. I don't know. I mean, that guy probably looks like Bolin does now, but yeah. this was 20 years ago. Jeez, man. This, everything has such impact. <laughs> <laughs> really, Heenan? <laughs> myself. Allow myself to introduce myself. myself. That's an Austin Powers. That's from the same year. The first Austin Powers movie came out in 1996. You sure about that? I'm pretty sure. I'm going to say 98. Okay. Google it. If I'm right, you owe me a Coke. Nothing. You owe me a Coke. <laughs> I owe you nothing. I'm pretty sure it's 1996. Ah, uh, 97. We were both wrong. We were both wrong. <laughs> it's 97. Um, uh, Price so is Right rules Clay were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what what was that? Grant? Price is Right rules Clay wins. Yep. Uh-huh. You, you went over. <laughs> So I'm assuming this match is, I mean, the match ends with a finish, but I'm sure there's going to be some sort of NWO run-in, beat-down schmoz at some point. Man, we have I not seen... I assume there. When is the last time we've seen Flair on TV? It's been multiple... Other than that commercial last week. Yeah, yo, oh yeah, Grant. We had a very weird Halloween Havoc <laughs> Slim Jim sort of promo commercial with Savage it's for a, and a contest and Flair for this contest where you could re- win a uh, Dodge like Duramax Dodge Ram. Ram. <laughs> it was very nice. strange. Slim Jim sticker. <laughs> go go back and watch that. It's uh, it's interesting. Savage is walking around wearing like Frankenstein and Wolfman Halloween masks and stuff. Nice. It's odd. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this uh, this episode ends because we still got some time. So we gotta ha- we're gonna have some time after the match for Hogan to cut his promo. That's where the audio comes out. Ooh, fuck! That's impressive for Benoit. I mean, Steiner is quite a bit bigger. Uh oh, his headgear came off. That's oh weird. shit! Oh, just stop doing that. I mean, it looks awesome, but stop. When his headgear comes off, that should be like some sort of uh, Mike Tyson's punch out type thing. Like then you can beat him. <laughs> right. That's his tell. Yeah. Kicked out of the diving headbutt, so you damaged, it's like it's... you damaged your brain for nothing. <laughs> it's like King Hippo's shorts falling off, I guess, right. or down. Uh oh, drop kick. Nope, into a belly to belly. Ooh. 
Good match. Getting into it. Rick Steiner's over. They're barking. Yeah. See, that didn't look near as good as Arn Anderson's DDT. <laughs> See, Rick Steiner shouldn't be doing a DDT. That's not his move. Like, if I if I were Double A, I'd be hot about that. Because he's doing your finish as a transitional uh -oh. move in his match. And it looks like crap. Yeah. Bulldog. Ugh, that's how Buff Bagwell broke his neck. Oh, yeah. I hate watching that move just because yeah. I know what happens when it freaking goes wrong. That was on a Thunder, wasn't it? Like an early night. I don't know. I don't remember. I just know he... Ugh. It was on a, a Thunder, maybe even a Saturday night. Yeah. Nick Patrick. I was, I was watching at the time. Yeah, I mean, he mm -hmm. straight up broke his neck. Oh, double down. Oh, you Here's got to throw in the... So this is two two times in two weeks the Halliburton has come come into play. Uh-oh, but Big Papa Pump's out there now. Hey, oh, shit! Yikes. <laughs> and they missed the shot to I, Benoit, but Mongo I, ate one right on top of the head like a Roadrunner cartoon. <laughs> Well, and did you? I liked Mongo's cell. He rolled his eyes back in his head and just kind of <laughs> went kinda down. Legs gave out. So we got twelve minutes left in the show, and uh, main event's over. That's it. Rest well, Rick's... Hogan, Hogan's here to fill that's it up. That's right. Hogan, oh yeah, he's got to get up. his time. Hogan's got to be on TV and not have to work. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, Rick Steiner gets his win back from last week. Good match. <laughs> I hope they show that diving headbutt again. That was nice. You get some height on that. Yeah, we're going to get to see it, maybe. <laughs> That's awesome. There we go. We got it on replay at least. He threw he threw the briefcase in front of right the in front of Nick Patrick. Like it rolled past his feet. It was the worst place he could have thrown it. Oh goodness. Goodness gracious. Halloween Havoc promo. Yeah, did they always have Halloween Havoc in Vegas, or was it just this year? It was a few years. Maybe a couple years in a row they had it in Vegas. Okay. That's kind of random. Yeah. Cause there, I mean, Flair hasn't been on TV. They haven't done an angle with that match. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, Savage is coming out. So I wonder if they advertised another match, but it's going to end in a non-match, which is why it's not on there. Possibly. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I'm guessing something is not going to happen. Yeah. Maybe. Or, fuck, maybe they'll... Uh, Bring According the renegade to our, back out. Our friends at cagematch.net, Rick Steiner versus Benoit was the last match on the card. So we'll see what happens. It'll be a surprise for everybody. Penzer's yeah. Hogan Macho. Penzer's out there to announce. Yeah. There's a ref in the ring. Oh, maybe he's wrestling Brian Nobbs. I hope so. Oh, the black and white nasty boys. Yeah, they uh they were in the hotel room last week and yeah, they it, they it, were recruited to the NWO. It's the only time we see their shirts without the uh, what I call the ketchup and mustard design. Yeah, the uh silly string. Yeah. 
So he wants they he wants them to watch their back. So what's happening? Come on. Oh, flare? Interesting. Savage and Flair, even though Flair hasn't been seen. So we're probably going to cut to the back, and I don't know, Ric Flair's going to be thrown into a cement truck or something. Or something like that. Or, I don't know, buried in the desert. <laughs> or, buried in, or buried in Elizabeth. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Jesus. What? That's the fucking angle. Yeah, I guess it is. But they just don't come out and say it. <laughs> they have some tact. There yep, he is. I was pretty... R- I was almost right. Well, you didn't expect Shivani to say that Flair's balls deep in Savage's ex-wife. There's the uh, six-ball shirt. Yes. Vincent wants some breadsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yeah, that, Vincent. That's, that's like a $10,000 robe that he's just rolling around on a grungy arena floor in. Like, seriously. He lives his gimmick. I think they're selling that they uh, they hit him in the arm with that pipe and broke oh. it because he's selling the arm pretty hard. This gets really uncomfortable with Elizabeth because it's just like, like, eh, it's just uncom- yeah, it's very uncomfortable. Savage is probably going to come running full speed around a corner <laughs> at, <laughs> at any point. <laughs> the giant, the giant almost fell on that pipe. Did he? <laughs> It tripped him up for a second. Oh, we're walking out to the... Oh, here we go. He's got a chair. Did she just say, what are you going to do with that? Yeah, oh, there we go. So this is your NWO beatdown. We get two seconds of Ric Flair writhing on the ground as the most we've seen him on television in three weeks. Yeah. That's Bischoff. It probably wasn't even Flair. You don't deserve a podcast. <laughs> I I don't know that I even saw his face. That could have been anyone. Yeah, that could have been like Charles Robinson in a robe, <laughs> for all I know. It's probably uh, Jared. Yeah. <laughs> Liam, you gotta let me have the mic. Ugh, this doesn't play well. You can't do this anymore. This does oh, not yeah, age well like at all. Oh, good grief. So, like, That's where's what the ba- makes him a heel. Like, where's the baby face locker room right now? Yeah. Where- <laughs> yeah, this... Hogan manhandling Miss Elizabeth does not age well. That's just... It's a, it was a different time. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, shit. oh, damn. That was real. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I do not remember that happening. Yikes. I had never heard of it. He's like, all right, we're going to do something different here. I wonder if the Jesus giant Christ. had like... Dude, the giant's Jesus. drunk. Is I wonder dr- if the giant had like never walked up the stairs, though. Well, he's probably never walked up the stairs with a 230-pound human Jesus, on his shoulder. Man. Well, no, like legit, though. Like, oh, if you're the giant, you don't walk up the stairs. I mean, Savage appears to be okay, but holy crap. Yeah, that's horribly, horribly wrong. Holy crap. That's crazy. I, I've never seen that before. Wow. That looks dude. terrible. He's no, he's had enough. <laughs> he said, God damn it, that's enough. You've lost your privileges. Like, we'll just do this instead. <laughs> just a punch. Hogan's punch is more powerful than a choke slam anyway. No, just ask him. Like where's the baby face locker room? Do they do they condone women yeah. beating? Can't do that. Like where's Luger? Luger will come out and save the renegade. No shit. But not Savage. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't long ago. Him and Savage were trying to save the company from the New World Order. I just can't believe he dropped him like that. Like, and he know. went down. Like, oh That's my god, bad, I'm gonna yeah. have to like watch that back. Just imagine if he landed like on the on the, on the um, corner. Yeah, <laughs> oh I'm gonna ha- I'm gonna have to do an animated <laughs> GIF of that. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there there's probably one out there already. Doing the leg drop on the back of the head, then switching it up a little bit. Oh, 
he gets slammed. He straight up got dropped <laughs> on those steps. Here we go. They're starting to throw stuff. It's at the end of it's been at the end of about four shows in a row. The deluge of trash starts getting thrown in the ring. This doesn't age. This doesn't age well at all. I mean, I get it. They're heels. They're, but yeah. His hand is as big as her head. Yeah, it is. Oh, Jesus! Hogan straight up got pegged <laughs> in the face with a roll of quarters. No, I think it was a slim jim. It was a slim jim. <laughs> It was something. I don't know. It looked like a... It, it was a little Slim Jim package. He straight up got pegged in the face. I, mean, I, I don't know if I've ever seen these shows enough to remember how much garbage gets thrown in the ring every show. Uh, you thought it was Slim Jims were planted. None of them were opened. No, I'm sure they're passing those out because they're promoting the pay-per-view. Oh, the poor fucking ring crew. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Which that's that water-based stuff. You can you can wash tell that it's out. Basically water. Yeah, it's not like actual spray paint. Still, get right what up, a get right fucking... up in there, get right up in there in the taint. <laughs> yep. Of course, Sting isn't here because y'all are morons. Liz got some legs on her. Oh, oh man! Oh, <laughs> which. I'm glad he was standing there because that would have pegged Elizabeth right yeah. in the head. Like, you'd think they'd make an announcement, stop throwing stuff, but they never do. It looks good. It's. It... I mean, it does, but come on. Somebody throws a D battery and hits Hogan in the yeah. face, your $30 million a year guy or whatever he is is out. And he's... Man, they are just... <laughs> like, where is... <laughs> It just makes WCW look like a bunch of chodes, cause yeah. like you got a whole babyface locker room. No, I uh, yeah, that's that gives you a lot of power, you know. <laughs> um, I wonder, and we have this discussion every week about you know the NWO being cool heels. You think Scott Hall and Kevin Nash were smart enough to not come out here for this part because they'd get legit heat? Possibly. They, they don't Maybe. come out. They don't come out until Elizabeth's already dispatched. Yeah. Savage is already out. They come out, but they don't fucking they just, partake in it because they they'd just, get heat for that. They just kind of hang out. Yeah. No, and that's my argument is that they never tried to be heels. You can say they're cool heels all you want, yeah. but they're fucking not. They, they're they're edged faces. They act the same way they did in the Fed. I mean, they like, really they're, do. They're they're edgy faces. I'm, I am a fr- you know what the giant is actually probably protecting her from crap getting thrown. <laughs> yeah, is honestly yeah. what's happening. He's watching the crowd. Yeah, he's trying to make sure he she's not getting pegged in the face with a stinking Rolo. <laughs> <laughs> Macho puke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, we got more vehicles for the third week in a row. We got a vehicle. The, the oh, the- <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they got a damn monster truck. Oh, six of them got thrown out of the dang window because of the suspension on oh, that man. thing. Imagine how loud that's got to be. Oh, man. That's got to be loud as hell. They're not actually going to do it. They'd identify I tell you what, that was an interesting end to the episode. The stuff with Liz d- does not Let's age juggle. well at all. But for three weeks in a row, we have a... Uh, we have an indoor uh, high-performance vehicle, so there you go. So um, that's it for this week. We'll be here next time. Late to the Nitro Party. Uh, what else? What we got? Uh, Twitter, Twitter, <laughs> iTunes. Subscribe. Five star ratings at Nitro Party Jobber with one B on Twitter. Let us know if you're good at logos. Yeah, uh, if anybody wants to tweet us out some uh, prototype logos for us, we'd uh, be happy to take a look at those. We will not we pay, will pay you. you. We will not pay you. Out but we'll give we'll, of your own heart. But we'll drop your name. Uh, maybe try to get your name out there. Retweet you. You know, give you some free advertising. So, uh, Grant, you got anything for us? Grant. Yeah. 
Grant uh, Grant must have peaced out early. So uh, yeah. we'll we'll be here next time. Late to the Nitro Party. Dig it. See ya.